Welcome back folks, today we will be diving into a brand new story of Saruto Uzumaki and how his journey will start at a certain age after realizing the truth about his father. This story is purely a work of fan fiction and I would love to know your suggestions and opinions in the comments below. So let's begin. The conquest to save the world from the wrath of the Otsutsukis was entering its final moments when Sarada Uchiha went into labor and gave birth to a baby boy. The boy's father was Boruto Uzumaki, the prodigy who was granted a marvelous Otsutsuki power, the Jogun, to stop the bad guys from disrupting the peace. But unfortunately, the citizens considered him a rogue ninja who could pose a threat to their lives as he was the vessel of an outrageous and ambitious monster. Another reason behind Boruto's dark image was because most of his peers and close ones were killed by the Osusukis. Now to keep his new family safe, he decided to stay unknown to his newborn child. He had also told his wife Sarada to not reveal anything about him to their child and train him in secret cause he certainly has the potential to surpass even the strongest shinobis. The little boy was named Soruto and then began a story with the most unexpected turns. Soruto had just turned 12 and the harmony was still returning to the world. The fright of the Osusukis was apparently gone but there was still no sign of Boruto in any of the villages. Some believed that he had died while some conspired that he had turned into an Osusuki who will someday return and create rampage in this peaceful world. Momo no Kaiju or the monster Momo was the title that Boruto was given and the rumors about his comeback never stopped spreading. Many people in the Hidden Leaf took it as an urban legend while many strongly believed that they were living in the end times and Momo no Kaiju will someday come and take away their lives. These rumors were spreading increasingly and as expected, Soruto heard them as well. He went to his mother and asked her what this Momo monster stuff was all about. His mom being the Hokage asked him to not to pay heed to these rumors, rather focus on his training and the upcoming tune in exams. Soruto with no other choice left went home and decided to research about this Momo no Kaiju online. To his surprise, all the search entries with similar keywords were blocked by the authorities, which sparked up his curiosity even more. Soruto realized the only person who could put restrictions on the internet is the Hokage. So he decided to ask his mother about this matter when she would be back home. But suddenly, he noticed a bluebird entering his mom's room. Soruto sneaked into that room and saw a letter wrapped on the bluebird's leg. It was from his father Boruto to his mother Saraja. After reading that letter, Soruto's body shivered with shock as he came to know that the Momo no Kaiju is none other than his own father Boruto Uzumaki. That evening, when Sarada returned home, she found Soruto holding a letter in his hand with both his eyes bleeding. With an unreadable face, he looked at his mother and asked about his father. Mom, is my dad actually that monster the whole village is afraid of? He asked with a lifeless tone. Sarada noticed the pattern of his Sharingan was totally different from a regular Mangenkyu Sharingan and his eyeballs were gleaming continuously with a white shine in them. She realized that it could be that new type of dojutsu Boruto once talked about that can only be unlocked by someone having the blood of Uchiha and Hyuga. But the solid shine in his eyes reminded Sarada of the Osusukis which confirmed that Soruto had Osusuki chakra as well. Seeing the stillness of his mother enraged Soruto even more and he inquired angrily. Mom, I asked you something. Who's my dad? Why is this village so mad about this urban legend? And what about the online restrictions? Why don't you want anyone to talk about it? Sarada tried to calm down Soruto by telling him that his dad was the village hero and he saved us all from the Otsutsuki invasion. Soruto interrupted Sarada by saying that he's sick of listening this lame story a thousand times and now he will find the origin of that bluebird himself to reach his dad. Sarada tried to use her genjutsu on Soruto but in the blink of an eye, Soruto used a never before seen technique and vanished from the room without a trace. Panicked by this unprecedented situation, Sarada ordered to close all the village borders and enacted a curfew in the whole village. But it was already too late as Saruto was nowhere to be found in the village which meant he had already began his quest to find Boruto. So that's it guys, I hope you people enjoyed the video. Please tell me in the comments if you want another part of this story or your opinions on its continuation. There are more fan mail stories on my channel so don't forget to check them out too. See you in the next one.